we have the early EV adopters incentive or the EEAI, which offers a rebate of 45% on the ARF. Next, we have the enhanced VES scheme to promote uh, cleaner energy vehicles okay. and discourage the more pollutive ones. So these two together offers a total rebate of about $45,000 maximum. I do track this, this how yeah. much power you use. Uh, so I've done the calculation. So I spend roughly six cents per kilometer to drive. Now a typical okay. uh, petrol car, even the more efficient ones, are about 15 cents per kilometer. Where else would you save money from? I imagine uh, the, the traditional car, yeah, I would have to send it to yeah. servicing, oil there's, change. Yeah, there's, uh, there are less moving parts here. There's no carburetor. No okay. transmission, there's no oil, there's no transmission fluid. Right. Um, none of those moving parts. So none of those have to be maintained. I guess there's, there's two different ways of looking at charging. Okay. So destination charging is when you go to that location regularly. So right. it's, it's where you live, it's where you work, it's where the car spends the majority of its time. Okay. It's parked doing nothing, which is kind of true for most vehicles. Now, if you do need to quickly top up, then you're gonna look at something called opportunity charging. And that's when you're gonna try and find a location where you can quickly add some charge, you know, in a short period of time. Electric okay. vehicles, we do an energy consumption test to determine its equivalent carbon dioxide emission. Electric vehicles utilize electric energy from electric grid. And in Singapore, this is largely powered by natural gas. Your butt, man. No shame losing to an electric car with about three and a half times more torque. So this car has 385 newton meters of torque. Yep. This has just about 100 newton meters. Even if you had a petrol car with the same amount of torque, mm. this will still have an advantage because you're on that maximum torque immediately already. Whereas okay. the petrol car has to build up that revs, the build up the... that you lose time in, okay. and that's where the advantage is. Okay, let's take a look. Well, I've driven about 100 kilometers and there's still 47% left from the battery. Had I driven my own car, I think I would have used about half a tank of gas. So pretty much the same. So I guess no real need for range anxiety. But is an electric car carbon neutral? Well, not yet. That doesn't mean we won't get there.